I think the command, and, and you know, he never got really out of whack at all. I mean, it was dominating with three pitches. He, he mixed in his change up a bunch tonight. Um, but, you know, I, I felt like for most of the night, he was on cruise control and just lighting it up. And uh, it's a special outing. I mean, we've seen some special performances from pitchers, I feel like, in this series, and, and Seve just delivered one. It come at the perfect time as well, knowing the way you had to use your bullpen yesterday. Um, yeah, you know, although we've, we we actually feel pretty good where we're at with our pen, and, and you know we've been able to rest guys enough. But anytime you you can get a starter that goes deep in the game, let alone nine, yeah, you love that for for obviously for the pen. He's had, I believe, ninety eight pitches heading into that ninth inning. Was there any trepidation on your part? Putting him back out there, or was it was in your mind you're definitely sending him back out on the ninth. No, I, there was a lot of trepidation. Um, it was it was frankly a tough call for me. Um, had a conversation with Seve real quick and and actually deliberated on it for 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 a few seconds and uh, felt like he was he was in a good place to go back out. What did he tell you to convince you that he wasn't a good place to go back out? Um, I thought I had conversations with him after the seventh and after the eighth, just checking in with him, and I just felt like he was, he had a lot, a lot left in the tank. What happened to Austin? I gotta see. I think he's okay. He jammed his hip or something, and it was out of whack. And uh, just seeing him, and you know, he limped off pretty good, obviously. Um, but he he looked pretty good after the game, and and said, you know, he he'd be okay to go tomorrow. So I, I got to check in with him and and see what the deal is. But it, it it seems like we avoided something serious. When you have a performance like John Carlos Stanton did tonight, not just the two home runs, but the yeah. off the end of the bat, what does it say about what he can do, particularly off a of guy that has killed the Yankees for years. Um, he's, he's a great player. And, you know, it, it's the good thing about our offense. It feels like it has been a different guy all the time. And, you know, I know Giancarlo had a tough night last night um, in a big win for us. And then, you know, I even had a conversation with him after the game. There's going to be many a nights when you carry us when they're when the rest of the team's struggling. He's like, I know. And uh, he carried the offense tonight, that's for sure. And a huge performance to back Seve against Keuchel, who was who was very good in his own right tonight. Aaron, I'm sorry, that was after the last time you guys spoke with John Carlos. Yeah. What did that Glaber play up the middle do for the game? <laughs> he just kind of came out of nowhere. I thought, you know, especially, you know, uh, what's what did Reddick's whoever blue or the infield hit to start it, and then a. You know, they fir first ball squared up where Reddick hit the ball hard, and you're like, oh, man, and then a bloop, and you're like, is this how his night's going to end with a couple of dinkers, and he's in trouble and, and whatnot, and, and Glaber comes out of nowhere and makes another impactful play on defense like he's been doing since he got here. When you first, in your eyes, what was the most impressive thing about Seve in that game? Command. Commanded three pitches. Mixed in a lot of change-ups, maybe the most of the year for him. Um, Never got out of sorts, you know. Sometimes I feel like one of the things that he's really grown as a pitcher when he does get out of sorts, he can correct himself. But today it was just attack, attack, attack. I think he probably had about four to one strikes to balls. He was just dominating the strike zone with all three of his pitches, and it was an elite performance. Period. Does Stanton, does Stanton point his career where he just kind of realized, especially with a, a guy like Romine, who's, you know, pretty, uh, you know, knows what he's doing back there, that, that um, he just kind of relies on the catcher to go through his game, well, game plan, or? Well, I mean, our game plan is, you know, pretty detailed and pretty organized going in, and, and that's led by Larry. Larry gets with, whether it's Gary, whether it's Roe, and the starting pitcher, and we have a, you know, pretty detailed game plan and it's so yeah the catcher's leading that in a lot of ways but the pitcher is on board and knows how he wants to attack the guys as well so it's a it's a group effort